when you go outside at night and look upon the sky it seems eternal and unchanging but that's our own human limitation that's coloring our minds we live on a much shorter time scale than the stars stars are much like us in fact they are born they live for an amount of time and they die some fade away some explode but in the end like us they are mortal when looking at stars you are actually looking into the past many of stars that we see at night might have already died it's actually not too hard to understand at 3 lakh km per second it takes light more than 8 minutes to get from the sun which is 150 million kilometers away and it's the closest star to us you can think of it as seeing the sun as it was 8 minutes ago the nearest known star to the sun is alpha centauri and light takes more than 4 years to get from there to here there are about 6000 or so stars that are visible with the naked eye and the majority of them are within about 1000 light years from the sun stars dim quickly with distance only the most luminous of star can be seen from greater distance stars like deneb probably 1500 to 2500 light years away and eta carinae which is about 7500 light years away so when you look up on the night you are seeing even the most distant stars in the sky as they were less than 10000 years ago but stars live much much longer than that even the most luminous stars which use up their core fuel far more quickly can live for 1 million years or more so the chances of stars to die while its light is on its way to earth are very small in terms of stars lifetime a few thousand years is a blink of an eye a star should be very very near to its own death for this to happen after a very very long life eta carnea it's on the edge of exploding in 1840s it underwent a massive supernova event its appearance might not go off for another 50000 years but maybe it's already gone or we just don't know what happened but that's the exception with the majority of stars still merely fusing away lighting up the galaxy on average very roughly only two or three stars are expected to go supernova in the galaxy per century so the number already did but still shining in our sky is very small also not every star explodes very high mass stars swell into red giants and very low mass stars just fade over time so next time when you're looking into the sky just know the fact that you are looking into the past not the present